In today's rapidly evolving educational landscape, technology has become an indispensable tool empowering students with unprecedented access to information and resources. However, this digital age comes with its own set of challenges, one of which revolves around the increasing prevalence of quote-unquote lazy students relying on artificial intelligence such as ChatGPT in the classroom. This phenomenon raises important questions about the ethical implications of technology in education, the erosion of critical thinking skills, and the role of educators in fostering genuine learning experiences. As we delve into this complex topic, it is important to explore the underlying factors, consequences, and potential solutions to ensure that our AI continues to be a force for positive change in the classroom. I mean, I'm sure we can all think of an example of a student who avoided doing an assignment using ChatGPT. In fact, you've just listened to one, as that entire introduction I gave was generated by ChatGPT in about 10 seconds. With AI like ChatGPT becoming more prevalent, not only are drastically more students using it, it's also becoming increasingly more difficult to detect. Of course, there are ways to combat this, particularly when it is quite important to maintain academic integrity in things like assignments or tests. One method is to review the factual information in an assignment as ChatGPT continues to make mistakes on a factual basis. Or more simply, require students to do handwritten assignments without the use of the internet. Of course, when access to online resources is required, there are some other alternatives, such as using technological tools that can detect the use of AI, or more commonly, reviewing the draft history for evidence of copy and pasting from ChatGPT. While these may be good options for some, I know firsthand students would often rather put more effort into finding a way around these safeguards than actually just doing the assignments. That's why there are far more effective ways to deal with AI, especially as future generations must learn how to use it. Whether we like it or not, AI will define our world and society, assuming climate change doesn't kill us first. Already, we are seeing it being used in industries like Hollywood, inside of social media algorithms, and even to generate the overview of me absolutely destroying my opponent in fantasy football this past week. Beyond the practical limitations of, uh, beyond the practical limitations of controlling AI and the fact that future generations will have to use it, it can also often be a way for students to improve their work rather than degrading it. And that's because when it comes to synthesizing information or structuring text, there is no tool, let alone human, that is better than AI like ChatGPT. It's something I would have killed to have in my ninth grade poetry unit as I struggled to sound out the unstressed and stressed syllables in iambic pentameter. Instead, I can use ChatGPT with its vast expanse of cyber might. Sounds about right. Thank you, ChatGPT. Today, AI continues to aid me, as it can help to explain complex topics to me more simply, or even condense information down into review games that allow me to prepare for tests. But while these effective ways of AI can help students, it comes with one caveat, and that's that you have to know what you're doing. This is where the role of teachers come in. Only teachers can help to guide students to deliberately prompt AI properly in something known as prompt engineering. With better prompts, it results in a better product from AIs like ChatGPT. Another critical factor is getting students practice with AI so they can learn this skill. And it's something that one of my own teachers has already begun to do. This not only helps to give students exactly this kind of practice, but they also found that it can help teachers as well. Because AI is so much more efficient and much faster at returning feedback, it can help to open up more class time to the complex topics that require the more, more connections with teachers and students. That's why I hope you'll look to embrace ChatGPT in the classroom for both the sake of teachers and students. If you're still unconvinced, 
then we can look to the past, where we've seen similar fears about new technologies. In the 1960s, it was the advent of the digital calculator, where kids weren't going to learn their times tables. Today, it's become synonymous with the course of math. Even more recently, in 2017, headlines read, have smartphones destroyed a generation? Now, I would argue we're just as smart, or just as dumb, depending on how you look at it, as the generation before us. The final example I'd like to guide your attention to is to the advent of the internet. Once again, headlines read, the internet is damaging children's ability to learn. Today, we ask students to write entire essays using the internet because school curriculum chose to incorporate it rather than simply ignoring it. Now, students are taught how to properly cite sources and navigate misinformation, making effective use of this powerful tool. To end off this talk, I'd like to bring in a quote from psychologist Susan Blackmore. In this quote, she says, traditionally, what has primarily been an issue for education has been putting knowledge in the kids' heads. But now it will be about showing them how to navigate the world. Except this quote wasn't in 2023, nor was it about ChatGPT. This was in 2001. So we've seen these kinds of overreactions before, but we've also been able to normalize them into society as well. So hopefully we can make that same shift again with AI. Thank you.